here. And we get set for the beginning of this championship bout. Here's Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout, with the approval of the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., Deputy Commissioners Lawrence Wallace, Yogi Hiltner, Chairman Jerry Gormley, is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, represented at ringside by Mr. Mark Shirker. The three judges for this contest are Doug Tucker from Nevada, John Stewart from New Jersey, and Barbara Perez from New Jersey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Top Rank Incorporated and the King of Beers present World Championship Boxing. So from Caesars Atlantic City, let's get things started with 12 rounds for the WBO Middleweight Championship of the World. The referee for this contest is Randy Newman. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the plaid trunks and weighs an even 158 pounds. He's from Rigo, Quebec. His professional record is 30 victories, 24 by KO, only one draw and one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger and former junior middleweight champion of the world, Matthew Hilton. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim, he weighs an even 160 pounds from Yonkers in New York as a professional. 31 victories against only six defeats and four draws, 18 by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the WBO middleweight champion of the world, Doug Cobra Dupree. I know you're both familiar with the rules of the state and the commission. I want you to remember two things. Number one, defend yourselves at all times. Number two, obey my commands. Now shake hands and come out of the bell. You heard the instructions from Randy Newman, our referee here this evening. And this, again, a collision of two bangers. Don't look for a lot of fancy footwork, a lot of riding the bike. Doug DeWitt and Matthew Hilton are in your face fighters. one and this bout is underway. As you said, Matthew Hilton uh, came out pretty uh, lathered up. He's dried off a little bit. Doug DeWitt is dry as a bone. And neither fighter thrown a punch yet. A number of things that are sure things about Matthew Hill. One is that he can't fight backing up. He does this in rounds, early rounds, especially round one of almost all his fights. He gives ground. Then about midway through the round, he'll plant himself and let go with his bombs. The key factor with Matthew is he throws such hard punches, most of them very wide, that he really tires himself out. He has to be in tremendous condition. He has not been in his recent, in his last three fights. DeWitt, on the other hand, Alex, appears to be in fabulous condition as you see the muscles in his back, his body fat content extremely low. We saw him at the weigh-in this morning, and when he got on the scale, the weigh-in, Dan, he stepped on it like he was stepping on glass. Oh, there's the left hook of Matthews. But a good, but a good recoil by DeWitt made him miss. And one thing about Doug DeWitt, you'll notice during the course of the fight, he likes to make a couple facial expressions. He'll, He'll smile, he'll tell you he's not hurt. He, he almost clowns a little bit. His Hilton punches right now are coming pretty close. He landed a couple, and Doug has, has been content to try to cover. Hasn't done too much. There he opens up with the first combination. The right and the left, the overhand right from Hilton just really grazed the shoulder of DeWitt, and the left counter was blocked. DeWitt complaining a little bit there about a clash of the heads to his right eye. Remember, the left one is the one that was busted up badly against Sims. Again, uh, DeWitt paused at his right eye. And Matthew off balance. Matthew has always been a very one-dimensional fighter, but that one dimension, his power, has been enough. Ooh, good right hand. Good right Hilton. hand by Hilton. You see, he found the, the chin of DeWitt. Oh, and there was a low blow by Doug DeWitt, and Hilton responds in kind. 
Phillips, which is what you're told to by your corner. Don't wait for the referee to warn him, just give him one back. Both of these fighters will tell you that they enjoy the other's company. I wonder what they do for recreation after we saw them exchange low blows. It's this is Matthew walking away. You just see he can't fight at all walking away. He's just, uh, he just has to come forward to be effective. And DeWitt wisely took advantage of it. Went after him when he turned his shoulders and walked away. Right. 